Guys, I would say this is the one thing that's killing you with women. It's absolutely killing your results. That is instant gratification. Instant gratification is one of the things that I would say is one of the strongest killers of a man, the strongest killer of a man results because a guy is going through his journey and saying, okay, I want women who are either yes or either no. Don't, need, don't give me anything in between because anything in between that's going to cause me to get uncomfortable. That's actually what he's saying to himself. He's not saying it verbatim, but he is saying to himself, I want to go up to girls and I either want to be you want to have sex or you don't want to have sex. You, will, you like me or you don't like me. And I was in the same attitude. The same attitude of instant gratification is the same attitude that I had to give up. I had to fucking give it up because I knew that if I wanted to get women into my life, I needed to stop being impatient. A lot of guys out there, they're very impatient, man. I don't know if you are, but I was so impatient when I started my journey. When I started my journey of hitting the streets, going out to the club, uh, talking to women in the mall, talking to women in all kinds of situations, I just wanted them to give me the answer of, do you like me or you don't? And guys, they like that. And I like that because it cut out the bullshit. It cut out the bullshit of, why do I have to stand there and talk to a girl and see if she likes me, why is she being weird, why she won't just give me a chance now, why she won't touch me in this moment when I want to be touched. It was all about me. And I want you guys to understand that anytime you're dealing with another person, it is not all about you. You're dealing with another person. It can't be all about you. It's about, is me and this woman going to have a thing together? And if you are, you're going to have to understand, you got to learn to move at different speeds with different girls. There's some girls you can move at a speed of being very fast. There's some girls who absolutely yes. And that's what guys, some guys call in the community yes girls. They're the girls that when you walk up to them, they're completely just into you. They want to have sex with you. They want to know what you're about. They want to know what kind of man you are. And that's great. That's great for a man to get yes girls. But I would say the majority of girls that I've gotten to my life, they haven't been girls who have been just yes girls. Most of the girls I got into my life, they have been girls who I had to, so to speak, move at their speed. I had to slow down. I had to see what is this girl all about besides this closure that she's giving me. She's giving me something right now, but it's not who she really is. And it wasn't this black and white thing, and that, that kind of shook me up in the beginning. It shook me up because I used to always have the attitude of, I wanted to be black and white. I wanted to be just complete honesty, or as I would say, no bullshit. That's not how this shit works. The way it works is you need to go out there and you need to be able to adjust when you need to. Talk to all the women that you want to. Be able to give a woman the clarity of who you are. Be able to find out about her, but don't be in a rush to get the yes or no. Allow it to play out by you just being clear. Focus on the act of expressing yourself. Be clear in that and see what happens from that. And from that, you'll begin to get many different types of things. You'll get women giving you yes right away. You'll get women who are not yes right now and they want to resist you for a little bit and then they give in. You'll get women who are absolutely seem like they're no, but then they, they start to become warm around you and then they become a yes. You get everything in between. You want that though. That is where the true growth comes in. The true growth comes in from not always getting a yes to you. If you get resistance, you're getting the growth that you need. Your character is being built in resistance. It's not being re built in you going out there and only getting things that are yes or no, because that's a man who only wants what he wants. That's a man who's, on, who's only going out there with the attitude of, I don't want to go through any of the in-between shit of like having to see, you know, why she's going through this, the bullshit of seeing what she's like in this moment when she's not so open. I don't want to see that, man. I just don't want it. I want women who want me. And if she's not giving me the yes right away, if I touch her and she's not giving me the yes right away as far as touching me back, that means she's not into me. And I'm cool with that. And they're going to miss out on many opportunities out there with girls who don't move at your speed. Your speed is not other people's speed. I'm a person that moves at a, a ferocity of uh, speed when I'm with a girl. I move very, very quick. 
And I understand that some girls don't move that fast. I understand that. And I have to pull back all the time. But I must show her the clarity of who I am, but I'm also willing to adjust. And that's what you need to do. The way that this shifted for me was, I think it was last year or the year before, maybe last year, was it last year? I think it was last year. It was sometime in November. Yeah, I think it was in November. I was talking to a girl, and as I'm out talking to her, I noticed that she's into me, but she's kind of not into me. And this is how I'm perceiving it. She's into me, she's kind of not into me. And I knew I was working on patience, but I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then I felt that she wasn't into me. I just came to that conclusion somehow. And I said to her, you know what, I'm gonna get out of here. And she was like, oh, okay. Um. And then when she did that, that was the moment where I knew that, ah, uh, I'm doing that thing of instant gratification again. I'm, going, I'm doing a thing where I just want the yes. I'm doing a thing where I want the woman to move at my speed. And it wasn't happening. And in it not happening, I started to go, all right, this girl's not into me. Then I walked away. And in walking, in, and then in like, oh no, I walked away inside. But in walking away inside, I came back to, okay, it's not that she's not into me, it's just that it takes her time to warm up. And in it taking her time to warm up, I was like, all right, I'm gonna stay here. And over time, she started liking me more and more and more. Ah, that's what it is, patience. Patience is gonna be the thing that's gonna be able to, uh, for you to get the results that you want. Patience is the thing that's gonna be able, that's gonna be, that's gonna get you to be able to, forgive me for my fuck up right now, I just came out of um, a long day of coaching. That's gonna be able uh, for you to get the woman, really. If a woman doesn't move at your speed, you're gonna be able to get her after that, really. You're gonna be able to show her that I have sympathy towards you. The, the guy wants us to leave, doesn't he? In two minutes? Uh, he said we cannot use the tripod. Oh, okay, it's fine. Should I go on handheld? No, it's fine. I said three more minutes and he was fine with yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what happens when you're out here filming wherever you want. The fucking police come over and they just want to, no, no, don't do any tripod. And every time I say that, I just fucking like, I just blow them off until they come back. Patience. Patience is the thing that any person that wants the yes or no is going to have to get used to. Because you want seduction to be black and white when it's not. You want a woman to give you a black and white answer when a woman is not black and white. Do you know that men are black and white a lot of times and women are not? Women, most of the time, and I would say a woman who's identified with the feminine, she's never black and white. She's always changing. And always changing never has any steadiness to it. And patience gives a woman a change from being not into you or not, be, not being not into you, being kind of into you, not knowing what to do, you know, seeing, you know, should I act like this? I don't know what this guy's like. Yeah, he seems kind of weird. And just you staying with that and giving her the chance to open more and more to herself while she's around you. And then in that process, she gets to see that, okay, this guy actually does care. And he's giving me the time of day to know that right now I'm not into this, but I could be into this if you gave me the chance. And I'm not a girl who moves fast, but I know that we can still have a great experience if you give me the chance to open up in a way that I want to. That is what it comes to. It comes to, can I give this woman a chance to open up to herself around me? Because if I am patient to her speed, something will pay off from this. Either she will like me for that and say she has a boyfriend or give me the chance, go on a date, she'll open up to me. This is not guaranteed sex. Don't think that because guys are like, oh, that means guaranteed sex if I wait. No, it doesn't mean that. It's just giving you the chance to understand that there's some women out there who are for you, but you need to allow yourself to cultivate patience. Cultivate the patience that you need to be able to move at women's speeds. And when I did that, man, it changed, it changed the game for me. It did. And so gratification comes up sometime for me because it's a thing that I was used to. But I still in those moments go, actually, be patient. She doesn't have to move at the speed that I wanted to move at. And with that goal, I want you guys to go out there and start having great interactions with women. If they're not moving at the speed you want to, be patient to their speed. Give them a chance to know by how slow you're moving that you can, you can match that. You can match their slowness. You can match their pace. And that makes her more comfortable around you as well. This is Sony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles. And I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. 
if you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, you want to do Skype coaching, you want to do coaching with me and the TNL boys, we'll be on Euro Tour, we'll be in the U.S. in a little bit. I'll be doing some workshops in the U.S. Uh, later this year. So you guys better sign up if you want to get this firsthand in person with me or with the team. I'll see you guys.